Welcome to Art Now, a podcast about art inspiring us today. I'm your host, Caroline Kunzli. Great art has the ability to transcend the limitations of time and place, expressing truths which resonate with us right here, right now. With this in mind, every week I invite a guest to introduce us to an artist whose vision strikes them as particularly crucial for our current times. Today, we'll hear from Canadian artist Lisa Mays, who will speak to us about Coney McIntosh, an American woman and visual artist born in 1939. There is something very intriguing and kind of a bit fantastical. You know, it looked like they were creating new paradigms, and I just had this feeling like in my gut that I was embarking on an adventure written by black authors. Today, my guest is black Canadian artist Lisa Mays, who is also a singer and writer for the band No Way. Welcome, Lisa. It's great to have you. Hi. Hi. Thank you for having me. You've nominated the surrealist and abstract artist Coney McIntosh. Born in 1939 in Oklahoma, she then migrated to France in the 1960s. Can you tell us about how you first encountered her work? Yeah, I was first introduced to the Harlem Renaissance in my early teens through my cousin who was studying arts in Chicago. He would return in the summertime and and fill my, my ears with knowledge about artists such as Edward Clark, Merton Simpson, and it was through these wonderful exchanges of knowledge that I became interested in the Spiral Group, which was formed during the surge of the Civil Rights Movement in 1963, and I was really drawn into these images of the abstract expressionist artist Norman L. Lewis and postmodern artist Emma Amos. There was something very intriguing and kind of a bit fantastical. You know, it looked like they were creating new paradigms. And I just had this feeling like in my gut that I was embarking on an adventure written by black authors. And at a very young age, looking at their their work and books, it resonated with me in a way that's, to be honest, indescribable. But it wasn't until actually my early 20s when I went to Paris during a high school exchange that I found one of Coney's paintings in a gallery. For listeners who are not familiar with her work, how would you describe it? When I first saw her work, the best way I could describe my experience was that her work was really similar aesthetically to the NFB uh, short animated films that I watched as a child on that clunky television. And it's that dynamic, rhythmic conversation that was taking place with the forms, narratives that are like colors speaking to each other while forms were colliding and and growing. So almost like that that really interesting dance that happens with surrealism and abstract um, expressionism. I also found that there was some strong references to the Gospels, rebirth, migration, and ritual are really magical events that were happening. What was her family like? And how did her visual vocabulary evolve? in the imagination of this child born in 1939 in Oklahoma? I mean, she was was born into a Baptist, poor, working-class family. She had a very close relationship with her mother, Martha, because her father lived in Chicago, where he was supporting the family. But this also included, like, her mother, his four sisters, and their children. Coney was an only child, so she did spend most of her time between school and home alone because her mother was working those odd hours, so, you know, she was was quite isolated. But apparently she was always obsessed with drawing mimes, mimes, and putting on mime shows for her mother. And I think this filled a void in her and 
cultivated worlds for her to live in to protect her from some harsh realities that she was surrounded with in living in Oklahoma during the 1940s and 50s, such as the moving out of the Jim Crow laws and the invention of television. Mm-hmm.